a three to two vote, the state Supreme Court ruled today convicted killer Jared Price should have never been released from prison and ordered that he be arrested and returned to prison. Price was convicted in the 2002 killing of Carl Smalls in Columbia, but earlier this year he was released after serving 19 years of a 35 year sentence. His lawyers say his actions behind bars warranted that early release as he was credited with saving the lives of two prison guards. News 19's Nyjah Hood was at the state Supreme Court hearing today. She joins us now live in studio with more. Nyjah. Well, Jr. and Darcy, the state Supreme Court's decision came down just hours after they heard oral arguments in this case, with Price's attorney claiming his release from prison was legal, while the attorney general argued it wasn't. Price was serving time after being convicted in the 2002 killing of Carl Smalls at a Columbia bar. Representative Todd Rutherford, who serves as Price's attorney, petitioned for his release. He said under statute 17-25-65, Inmates can seek a reduced sentence if they provide substantial assistance. He said that's what his client did, and the law is designed to make inmates feel safe coming forward with information. Rutherford said sending Price back to prison would defeat the purpose of the statute by putting him in danger. But the state said that doesn't apply to this case because South Carolina law mandates inmates serve at least 30 years for this type of conviction. The attorney general's office proposed putting Price in either solitary confinement or sending him to a different facility out of state. Now, the family of Carl Smalls had been very outspoken in this case, and they're saying they feel like justice for their loved one was undone. We are so grateful. We are grateful for everyone that was involved, everyone that helped us, supported us. We are so thankful. Now, we have reached out to Rutherford for a reaction to the decision. As for Price, the Supreme Court said now it's up to law enforcement to bring him back to prison to finish his sentence. Nigel Hood, News 19, WLTX.